Hey there folks, this is Hutch. And I'm Sherry. And we are Freedom in a Can. Now today we're going to be reviewing the complete Renogy solar powered system that we installed on our vintage camper about three months ago. Yeah, we were in the mountains of Arizona when we installed it and we are now on the coast of Maine. So we have truly put the system to the test over about 3,000 miles so far. Yeah, we've seen all kinds of weather and road conditions from hail and ice. Extreme heat and dust. Uh, crazy wind, bumpy roads, you name it. Absolutely. So let's get into it. So here's a rundown of our components from top to bottom. We have two 100 watt flexible solar panels that we've installed in parallel a 40 amp Rover Elite MPPT charge controller, a 100 amp hour smart lithium iron phosphate battery, a 700 watt pure sine wave inverter, and for monitoring purposes, a 500 amp battery monitor and BT2 module. And for those days when we have low sun or just simply need a boost because we're in some more shade, we have a 100 watt folding solar suitcase. So this is actually the first time I've been up here with a ladder to actually look at the installation three months later. And I'm really excited by what I see. The screws are all in place, the Eternabond is holding, even with the little cable ties that we use the Eternabond to stick down and the aluminum tape over, those are holding. Really, really pleased. Because remember, we've put 3,000 miles on this installation and Lots of wind, lots of highway miles. It seems to be working just fine. In terms of performance, you know, with these panels up on the roof, we kind of forget about them. We're charging while we're driving. We're charging anytime we're in an open campsite and the battery is getting topped off by mid morning. So really, what more can you ask? Now, I have noticed that in this horizontal installation, we're maybe getting a little bit less efficient than if we were at a nice angle to the sun. So the portable panel, which is also a 100 watt panel, that's got that nice angle and it's getting about 85 watts. These flexible panels are getting about 75 watts. And I don't know where flexible panels got the bad rap that they seem to have amongst solar enthusiasts. Renogy supports this with a five year warranty on workmanship and 25 year warranty on power. That's the same warranty that they have for any of their rigid panels. And time will tell for us, but we've been really happy with the power so far. And it's well worth the ultra lightweight and low profile installation that we have here on this vintage camper. All of our solar components fit underneath the bench seat of our dinette area. After 3,000 miles of a lot of bumpy roads, we are pretty impressed with the fact that nothing has shifted, all of the wiring is still in good shape and has not come off, and everything is working appropriately. And you'd think with all the dust and sand that we have seen over the last 3,000 miles that things would be dustier back here, but honestly, there's just a very, very fine layer of normal dust on the components. So everything is in great shape. So when we upgraded, we went from a PWM Wanderer to the MPPT Rover Elite Charge Controller. And as you can see, the MPPT is larger. It's about half again as wide as the Wanderer, but it's just a little bit bigger from left to right and top to bottom. So it has done a fantastic job of turning that extra voltage into amperage and making our system more efficient overall. Now MPPT charge controllers are more expensive. And with our smaller system, we were unsure if we would see a big benefit from the extra cost or investment. But we have. On those low sun days, we get an extra boost from the MPPT and it charges our system faster. Now, if you want to learn more about the difference between PWM and MPPT technology, you can check out our Solar 101 video available on this channel. Now, the whole purpose of our upgrade in the first place was to power our growing small mobile business. We talk about the road life, living off grid, and everything that comes with it. So powering up a video production laptop surprisingly takes a lot of watts, as well as a secondary laptop and the rest of our life. And in 2020, the remote workplaces like coffee shops and public libraries were all offline. And we realized 
we really needed to be energy independent. And this 100 amp hour smart lithium iron phosphate battery has been a key ingredient to making this possible. Now, for the past three months, in all kinds of weather and sun conditions, we've never seen this battery go below 70%. Charges super fast, it meets our needs, and it's twice the watt hour capacity of our previous battery. You can see it crowds the space just a little bit, but no more than a lead acid battery of the same capacity, and it's going to give you about 30 to 50 percent more watt hours than one of those lead acid options. Now it'll last 4,000 cycles so we're really hoping that this battery is going to be with us for the next 10 years. So next up is the inverter. This is a piece of equipment that after you install it you pretty much want to forget about it if it's doing its job right and that is exactly what has happened here. We barely hear the fans running at all and we don't have to get in here to flip this switch because we've got a remote switch to be able to do that for us. We can run just about any AC appliance we want to and not even think about it. So for monitoring our system, we now have this 500 amp battery monitor system, which gives us a very accurate status of the battery. And it's one of those things that you're like, how did we ever live without it? It connects to the battery via this shunt. It sends all the information back to the monitoring screen, which gives you a lot of information, but not too much. The percentage of charge also gives the battery's voltage status. It shows the amps going in during charging or the amps going out when you are discharging and also the wattage in or out. The second method we have for monitoring our system is the BT2 module. This connects to the charge controller and then it wirelessly connects to your smartphone so you can look at everything through the DC Home app. In the middle you'll see the PV screen and below that PV voltage. Currently we're bringing in 17.2 volts and the PV current is 8.25 amps. Now if you multiply the voltage times the amperage, that gives you watts, so we're bringing in just shy of 143 watts, which isn't too bad given the fact that it's mid-morning, and we've got sun but some light cloud as well. Now to see that MPPT technology in action, if you drop down to the darker box below where it says battery charging current, you'll see it says 10.64 amps, and that's slightly higher than what the panels are producing at 8.42 amps. So what's happening here is taking the extra voltage coming in from the panels and turning it into more amperage, allowing our battery to operate more efficiently and charge faster. So there you have it. We are very pleased with our new solar setup and we're collecting more solar energy each day than we can actually use, which means we can run three, four days without even seeing the sun at all. We are equally happy with the installation itself. After 3,000 miles, it looks like it was installed yesterday. Now, if you're interested in a similar setup, please check out our step-by-step -step installation video in the description below. It has a complete parts list, as well as the tools you'll need and any diagrams you'll need. It'll really help you out. Now, if you wanna save money on Renogy products, please check out our affiliate link and use our promo code CANLIFE for 10% off. And if you want to size your own solar system to meet your specific needs, check out our Solar 101 video and that'll walk you through the entire process. Be sure to hit us up with your questions. We love helping out in any way we can. Good luck with your projects. We'll see you on the road. We'll see you on the road.